So what's up everybody, trust you guys are doing very good, it's been a while, so welcome back to today's video. Right here in this video I'll be showing you how to check if your transformer is in good condition, because transformer is very very important in every appliances that convert, uh, that makes use of AC, alternative current, so definitely you want your transformer to be in good shape because if it is not working there is no way anything will power up so whether your transformer is having a step down or a step up it's very important all right so let's check this i have two different uh transformer here which the way they behave are quite different from each other so that is why i decided to choose them so that we'll be able to test run uh first thing to really know about transformer is we have the primary side and we have that of the secondary side also so uh, as you can see right here in this video this is my primary side you can see it it's just two wire coming from there that is the primary side why this is my secondary side so the primary side simply means the input this is the side that will be connected to the alternative current you understand where you plug directly to your uh ac outlet you understand why this is the side that will supply to that your uh your electrical appliances you understand now so it's not based on what your appliances use maybe it's normal AC but most time there will be some series of diode and, and capacitor which will do the proper rectification to which will convert it to DC because this is uh this is in 220 volt but once it comes out here it's around 12 volt but your rectifier your diode is what will convert it to DC then your capacitor will make it stable and suitable for the use of the appliances so let's look at this since we say it's very important how do we then read it so first thing to do is take your multimeter uh, as you can see right here so f and then you take it you set it to continuity you can see this busa sound on some meter you may see busa or you see the sign no problem you know this side is dc this side is ac resistor and some um, uh, current and the rest but this is where we are going you see the sign there some may write push on it so for you to be sure it is in that mode use the probe to touch each other you can see it's giving you a sign so that is there is zero resistance there's continuity you understand huh? so that is what we want to use i will show you the two way uh, so this is our primary side let's check now you, you don't be scared it won't shock you since you are not connected so plug one side here Let's plug a side there and the other side there. You can see it's reading. Now the reason why I choose these two so, okay, um, transformers is their behavior is quite different from each other. So that will give you a very good view about how transformer really reads sometimes. You see this now? This is reading. It's still good. Assuming it's not giving me continuity, it's just giving me zero 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 and it's not continuing, then it's bad. So assuming there is a break within the primary side of this transformer, it is like it, it will not really continue, it will, it will not read anything, it will just seems as if I'm reading like this, you understand? So for this one now, the primary side is working perfect, you understand? Now let's check the secondary side, uh, this is the second, remember this is a grant, this is grant, this is uh, the second side, right? this is the other side too, so this is 0, 12, 12, you understand? And so based on uh, the kind of what your amp use if you are using uh, 0 12 you can use this for your connection but if you are using 12 0 12 you understand 0 center 12 those of you that do amp building will really understand if you don't understand uh, check my playlist I've done enough video on that on amplifier when we're building most of them use uh, set 0 center tap and they put it by side by side why for basic stuff they use just this two is enough you understand so let's go so touch the ground and this you see this is giving you continuity this is good for this side let's check for this other side this is good too let's check for the voltage again voltage you see this is good so the secondary side of this one is very very good this transformer both the primary side and the secondary side is working perfect all right now let's now look at the other one here the senior boy here so uh, for this one as you can see what I have here, this is my primary side. This is the side connected to the AC, while this side is connected to the DC. So based on different voltage needs, uh, this is the current here. This is the other voltage, this is the other. This is for zero center tap because this is from an amplifier. Why this one, uh, this is a uh, grand here. Why this is has some set of different voltage. Let's assume this is 12, this may be 15. I don't know the exact since we are not connected to light now. So now let's just test it. We just want to be sure that these stops are working. So this is the AC part. 
I don't want to cut the wire so I can my probe can still enter this place. So take your meter, one edge. It's not polarity sensitive, no, don't worry. So touch it. It's not connect over. Okay. Ensure you are touching that terminal. Or you touch from the back here too. You can do that from this back if your probe will enter there. Let me see if mine will enter. You can see it now, it's entering now. So now, you can see this is reading. Sorry about this camera. Okay, so if I touch it now, you can see it's reading. So the primary side is good also. Uh, sometimes it may not be, it may not continue. Like you know, this one just read for us. This one really read. So whether it's giving that sound or it's reading, it's still good. You understand? So this is good. Uh, why this one too is still good? Because it's a series of coils. So once there is any any cut or any bond, it will not continue again. Is the contactization? Let me see. Okay, so this is good. The primary side is good. Let's check for the secondary side. Let's look at this zero center tab. So for this one, let's check. You see, this side is good. Let's check the other side. It's not contacting well. You see, so this is good too. Let's check side by side. It's good. So for this side, we are rest assured nothing is wrong with the primary winding for you and the secondary winding for you. Let's check the other one here. Yeah? Hmm? My probe may not contact this properly. Okay, luckily. So this is good too. Let's check the other side. Good. Mm, let's see. This is good too. So uh, for these two set of transformer, you see the two of them are really good. Just that this one is not making, is not giving you the continuity sign in terms of making noise, but it's giving you the reading. So if it is not continuing, it's not showing any continuity, it's not giving the continuity sign. And this is my resistance level, it's showing 268, assuming it's showing something like 1, 2 or 0 point something without giving that continuity. That means there is issue with it, but now you see the value is giving me is reasonable enough, so there is nothing wrong with it. It's okay. Why this is a big one, so it really may be a bit different from that one because the coil for that one is very tiny. Why this one is thick, so this one is giving me the continuity directly. So once you hear the sound, it's good. But once you are not getting any reading, you are not seeing any continuity, anything that transformer may have burnt or maybe line there as caught inside the winding so that's it guys how to check if your transformer is in good condition if you find this video very helpful do it to like and subscribe to this channel see you guys in my next video cheers